Well, I'm at Savers again here in sunny Las Vegas. What do I find here? I'm looking for porcelain, you know, as I always do, but I love these boats, don't you? Those are so cool. This is five bucks for a cute boat. I don't know, something about that is very, very sweet and peaceful and maybe, I don't know, green tag is two dollars today, that's purple. I think I'll leave it here. It's cute though. It's pretty cute. Let's see what else they have. I'm just taking a quick trip through Savers today to look for some stuff that's donated that they overlook, you know porcelain, um, art glass, and um, vintage pottery. I really like vintage. So I'll see what I can find here real quick. I'm going to try to do a 30-minute sweep here, see if I can find anything to flip on, you know, that's right, eBay. eBay reselling. eBay reselling. What is this plate? This is kind of pretty. I don't know. I'm sure something will pop up here. But you gotta look, you know. Don't overlook the bottom shelf. I'm here at the candelabras. I don't even... I don't know what I'm doing in the candelabras. I'm not looking for cam candelabras to flip. So let's move on. And here's some... Um, Here's some pottery, which I, I really like. Oh, look what I just found. You know, I know what this is. This is Fire King, and it's only um, $2.99. Be careful because, you know, they don't really all the time take too much time. So it doesn't say Fire King, so I can't authenticate that it's Fire King. But it sure looks like Fire King, but I'll pass. I like when stuff actually has the brand on it. Look at this gorgeous um, glazed piece of pottery. It's a huge vase made in China. God, they fooled me again. Look at that gorgeous vase. Why do they do that? Oh, let's move on. That's disappointing. It's, I don't like when they have label. From China on the bottom, you know that. What's this? That's a beautiful, beautiful piece of glass, but there's no pontal on the bottom, so it doesn't look like it's... It's very pretty. It's a heavy piece of glass. It's seven dollars. I'll pass. I'm looking for something really good. I'm looking for something really good. You know, sometimes you can catch it and sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's all just a bunch of junk. Um, I guess that's why you can walk out of here with stuff sometimes and other times, nay, nay, no, no. So let's move on to a different, let's move on to a different section. What is this? Go. Oh no, music box. You know what I think about that. It's, it's missing the lid too, but I like the color. It's a cobalt blue. Jeez, what's wrong with these places? Everybody donates stuff that's chipped and cracked and missing the lid. Missing the lid. What's this? What is this? It's an owl. Hmm. Let's see what else. What's this? Givenchy? What? What? It's a Givenchy box. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there and I can't get it open. They want a dollar fifty for the Givenchy box. You know, that could be desirable. 
I'm going to put that in my cart. Okay. You know what? That says Givenchy. That could be valuable. And for a dollar fifty, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it home and check it out. Oh look, look at this. Look at this old vintage piece. Wow, look at this old vintage piece. This is gorgeous. But it's got the um, chips. Look on the nose and the head. I can fix that with my cold water creek. I can fix that. I have um, two of these that I got at an estate sale. Let me just turn it over here. Yeah, you hang it. They want five bucks. Sold as is. It never did have the, the chicken wire in it. Mine has chicken wire um, as a mesh net. But that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a score. If you like vintage stuff. I'm just saying, if you like vintage stuff. Victorian, which I love. European, Victorian, look at that. And then you hang it, see? I'm loving this piece. Love, 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 yeah. Look, look at that. That's going home with me. I will find a place for that quickly. That's not an eBay flip, that is heavy. I'm putting that in my basket. Okay. What else do they have? What else do they have? What's this? Okay. I'm starting to find some good stuff. I love when that happens. You know, first, at first there's nothing and you want to leave the store. And then you just give it another chance. You say, all right, I'm going to stay a couple more minutes and then look what you find. Look, this is, um, looks like porcelain. $2.99. I'm going to look on the bottom and just see for fun. Made in Italy. Bingo. Made in Italy. Yes, ma'am. Right there. Right there. Look at that. Teardrop shape with the flowers. And here's the unfortunate part, as I always say. It, it, it just has to be intact. That there's a... Um, and, you know, you can't fix that. You have to send it away to be fixed porcelain so that's unfortunately it's a no-go I could paint over that but I'm not going to I'm not going to because I can't resell anything that I've touched up so for that reason I'm out as they say on Shark Tank you know don't you like Shark Tank I love Shark Tank I watch it all the time this looks like it's from Italy too but I'm gonna guess it's from China Made in China. Gatesware. It's pretty though. It's a pretty uh, little serving plate. Let's see what else they have. Okay, well I got a couple of good things so far, which I'm I'm very happy about. What is this? bunch of junk basically every once in a while there's something good that they put out that people miss you know people collect chickens roosters they do and this is a nice one it looks like it's all intact it could be vintage it doesn't say made in China but I'm going to um, leave it here for somebody who really collects this because I don't know how much I can get for it on eBay so, and I like when the brand name is on the item. It's much, much easier to list. So, for that reason also, I'm O-U-T. Out. And of course, you know, I don't collect plates. But some of them are good, you know. And some people do collect plates. They love plates. I don't. Do you? Look at this amethyst. This is amethyst, and they, they want ten bucks. Amethyst. It was 25 at Home Goods. Compare it $42. It's pretty. Very calming, you know, that purple color. But I'm going to pass, unfortunately, for that piece. For this piece, you know, I, I know it wants to go home with me. But I'm going to give it a nay, nay, no, no. 
and uh, leave it here and move on with my basket to see what else I can put in my basket. I've only got, you know, a half an hour to spend here or so. So for that reason, we got to kind of move. We kind of got to keep moving. You know what I mean? Can't really dilly dally when you only have so much time to spend. Look at this. I'm going to move on to the um, dinnerware soon. See, see what they have. I'm also looking for Nasco China. I'm also looking for. Um, canisters because those are hot right now so let's move on this caught my eye it's um you know it's just nothing made in china 9.99 it's a waste basket but it's cute but it's it's nothing i'm, I'm gonna buy what else this is the wood section, and sometimes, sometimes you can find something really good in the wood section. I have before. And you know, meanwhile, baskets sell on eBay too. You just never know what somebody's going to want and buy on eBay. You just never know. What is this? Who is that on the front? A pinup girl, that's for sure. It's not in good shape. It's not in good shape, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass a Roni. What is this? You know, these are tchotchkes. A lot of people they donate tchotchkes, and I, I don't go for tchotchkes. Fifteen dollars for this plane. There's no name on it, no nothing. No nothing. Looks like a stealth bomber. Oh, come on, Gail, you don't know what a stealth bomber is. Yes, I do. I live in Las Vegas near the Nellis Air Force Base. I see them flying all the time. I know what they look like. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that a stealth bomber or no? Let's move on. This is the canister section right here. So I'm looking at something that looks fairly interesting right now for $5.99. I like what I see. <laughs> I like what I see. This looks old. It's dirty. It's oil, all grease all over there, so you know it's from an estate. There's little birdies up on top. I'm 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 loving this. Ah, World Bazaar, made in China. But that doesn't mean it's not vintage. It could very well be vintage. It's a nice canister. It's airtight top, and I like the design. So for that reason, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this, and I don't usually take anything from China. But this one I will take, because I like it, and I want to clean it up and use it. So I'm going to put that in my basket and move on. Ooh. Ooh. I, I know I don't collect um, birds. I don't collect these things. But look at the condition of this canister. It's um, a pheasant. It looks like a pheasant. Let me just take a look at the bottom. I know, I know, made in China. Hmm. Let me just see here. Rock, rocker. They love putting those. In this case, I'm just going to quickly take off the, um, oh my god, it's going to take me two hours to get this sticker off just so I can see the last the last letter of that name rocker rocker bear rocker rocker oh please Gail 
Cracker Barrel. That's kind of interesting. Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel makes canisters. Cra Did you know that? I didn't know that. I've never eaten a Cracker Barrel. But I like that. I'm not going to get it, but I like it. It's very cute. For somebody who likes pheasants, that's nice. And there's a lot of people who like Cracker Barrel that would like that. They just don't want to take the time to list it and ship it. This is pretty. This actually looks like Bassano, Italy. But of course, it's going to be China. Right, right, right. Made in China, $16.99. Oh my gosh. Made in China. Look, I have nothing against anything made in China. I just like vintage European pottery or American made in the USA. I just do. That's my preference. This does not have a lid. That's nice. That's a piece of ceramic pottery. That's cool. Let's see what else they have. W something George Bolero USA so that's good only problem is the gilding around the edge is worn otherwise it would be a beautiful serving um, that's from an estate have to go home and look that up here's Moriage um, Japan with the dots on it that's called Moriage the applied paint That's a creamer. There's no lid, but it's very, very pretty. Look, look at it. It's very dainty. Look. Look how they have that paint there and then the little dots. That's hand painted. It's very pretty. I don't even see um, a price on there. Gosh, I love that. That's really, really beautiful. Let me put that in my basket and see what they'll, what they'll accept for that. I really like that creamer. What else do they have? Here's an onion soup bowl. What else? You know, it's very bare here today. I decided to take a couple minutes out of my early evening, late afternoon and see what I could find. Handmade in Poland. Handmade in Poland. There are people who do um, collect things from Poland. There are, so, so that's it for that row. Let's see what else they have. Here's the dinnerware, the plates, and you've got to be very careful with the plates because in between the stuff made in China, there are some really good things that you can flip. This is shabby chic, but it's, of course, not old. Mata Ceramica. Here's a whole collection of plates, $12.98. French Market, exclusively for Williams Sonoma, 2012. Let's see what the dinner plate looks like. Those are nice. I want to see what the dinner... Oh, they don't have dinner plate. They have the... Um, I guess you could use that as a dinner plate. I like when the edges are... Um, uh, sloped like that. I like... I actually like that. You can eat pasta very easily. Pasta dishes in bowls like this. That's something really to think about right there. I really, really actually like those and I'm going to take those with me today. 
Williams Sonoma. I'm going to take the whole thing with me and put that all in my in my basket. Take them all. Just take them all. Take them all. Put them in my basket. And then we'll move on. Yes. Yes. I say yes. I like those. Beautiful. Okay. So let's Look at move this. on. Look at this pepper grinder. Nick fabulous. Two bucks. Very well used, but it can be cleaned up. Look, look at that pepper mill. Love it. That's a great, great pepper grinder. I'm going to take that because actually I need one of those. Put that in my basket. That is one of the biggest pepper grinders uh, I think I've ever seen. So it should be in the Guinness Book of World Records for pepper grinder sizes. Big, largest size pepper grinder. It would definitely win. Let's see what else they have. Are you liking any of this? Is there anything you see here that you that I'm passing up that you, you would take? I'm sure every, all the time there's something that I overlook that you, you say, Oh, Gail, you should have picked that up. I know when I watch the videos of your guys' stuff, you know, when you go through the thrift stuff, like, why are they passing that up? So you're probably doing the same, right? Let's see what else. Let's see what else they have. Here's a whole bunch of cups. Whole bunch of cups. Coffee cups. That's pretty. That's a cute coffee cup. I like that color, don't you? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one. Looks like it was signed on the bottom. That's super cool. I love it. It's beautiful. I'll take that with me. It's pretty. Put that in the basket. Here's another one. Look, there's two. This one. Those are pretty. Two. Really pretty. I guess I'll take both. What the heck? Put those in my basket. Put both of those. Look, look. I'll put both of those in my basket. Those are beautiful. Score. Okay. What else do they have? Here's an old painting. And it's signed. That's a real painting. You know, that's nice. You know, you can um, buy a frame, and those are very inexpensive, and they're really nice. Those, those paintings, those are original oils. Walker Wahoo Church? Where is that, Australia? Wahoo? I don't know. This is $8, and look, it's beautiful. It's old. It doesn't have the date, but it is signed. Look, it's really nice. I like that scene very much. Don't you? I do. Problem is finding a a frame for it. But it's really pretty. It's beautiful. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to think about that then. Actually, I'm going to think about it very strongly. What else? They've got a whole row here of artwork, but I like the original. I like the original right there. You know what? Before somebody else grabs it, I think I will. Let me take that, put it in my basket. Let's move on. I like that picture I just got, and I didn't want anyone else to get it. Are you like that sometimes, or you just better grab it, otherwise you know it's going to be gone? What else? I'm going to go look at the, um, at the dresses real quick. So sometimes, when I'm at the thrift stores, 
I like to find the beaded dresses because I like to collect the Lauren's Kazar, as you know from my other videos, or Scala. And so guess what I just found? Right here. Scala, $25. I think green tag is, no, it can't be $2. Green tag, that can't be $2. That's impossible. That is impo That is so gorgeous, that dress. I can't even believe what I'm seeing. Oh no, don't tell me that's two dollars. Let me go check and see. Oh my god. Look, here's Adriana Papel. $12.99 for, look at the work on this. These dresses are just, oh my god. I can't believe what I just found. I can't believe it. I hit the um, bead, beaded beaded clothing jackpot. Look at this jacket. Oh, that is gorgeous. And that's really cheap, too. $12.99. That's one of a kind, that jacket. That is really beautiful. Look at all the beaded clothes they have. I can't believe what I just found. I cannot believe it. Look at the beaded clothes. These are so beautiful. I don't know if they make these kind of things anymore. Look at this gown. I just sometimes really love looking at clothes. Here, here's a Stenay. Those are the three biggest names. Stenay, La Scala, I mean, not La Scala. Scala, Stenay, and Lawrence Kazar. And this is also $12.99. It's a brown jacket, 1X. Wow, somebody really donated. Look at this. Here's This is also beautiful. And this is, oh no, it's a Lawrence Kazar. I can't believe what I'm finding. I can't believe I hit the jackpot here. And that's 30 bucks, blue tag. That's beautiful, beautiful dress. Look, but the problem is on eBay, they're not really that valuable. As you can see, the dresses are still here, so people really aren't buying them. Um, I started collecting them a couple of years ago just because I love them. But it has to be Lawrence Kazar or Scala or Stenay. Not just any old thing, you know. Okay, well, I'm going to go check out, and let me take this dress, let me take this dress, um, and see what the tag is. I know there's, something is two dollars today, I have to find out. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this dress. Okay, I'm going to take that with me, let's see. And on that note, I'm going to say thanks so much for watching. That concludes my excellent adventure at Savers here on Charleston Boulevard in Las Vegas. And hopefully this dress will be $2. Okay. Don't you think it's gorgeous? Look. I hope it's green tag. If it's green tag today, that's $2, and I score, along with the other stuff I got. Wouldn't you buy this? I mean, look at that dress. It's gorgeous. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.